Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Style & Stitch. Today I want to share with you five common mistakes that new sewers make. Firstly, having an expensive sewing machine. I think a lot of people, when they start to sew, think that they need amazing equipment. You really don't. Something basic is absolutely great. I started on a John Lewis special edition machine. Mine was purple rather than pink. And it was brilliant. It did everything I needed it to do. Um, I could find all the parts for it because it's actually a Janome machine. Really great basic machine and cost me under £100 so I could start sewing and loved using it. It was brilliant. Secondly, read the fabric recommendations on the back of the patterns. I think a lot of people think that they can see a pattern and then make whatever they want, uh, but actually when they have made this pattern they've taken into account what fabric you need. Um, it's a really helpful way of getting to know different fabrics, uh, but also making sure that the fabric you get is actually going to work for the pattern. So make sure you have a read on it here and it will tell you everything you need to know. The other thing that patterns will tell you is also what level of sewer that they're made for. This gives you an indication of the level of difficulty of the pattern, which is really helpful when starting out because you don't want to choose something that's going to overwhelm you or get you lost with loads of complicated things that you won't yet know how to do. It's also a really great way to build up because you can do beginner, then you can move to advanced beginner as you learn more of the different techniques. So a really, really good thing to look out for in loads of sewing patterns. Another common misconception is that you have to spend loads of money on the fabric. You really don't. I went around and got loads of different sale fabrics, I got different offcuts of things when I just wanted to try something out. It's a really great way of sewing a variety of different projects and with different fabrics without having to break the bank. And lastly, something that I've learned through trial and error, don't sit down and start sewing when you're really tired. Unless you really know what you're doing, if you're trying to do something new when you're really tired, you'll get really frustrated and just want to push it away. I would say make sure you're nice and relaxed, get yourself a cup of tea and sit down at your sewing machine really ready to embrace the challenge of what comes next. So there are the common mistakes new sewers make. You don't need an expensive machine. Make sure you read the fabric recommendations. Look for the difficulty level on the pattern. You don't need to spend loads of money on your fabric and don't start when you're tired. So that's it for now, I'll be back soon with another video. If there's anything you'd like to see, just pop it in the comments below and subscribe to my channel.